Hello, today we are going to install a voltimeter on your scooter. And in this video I'm going to show you how. how. Hello, today we are going to install a voltimeter on your scooter. This is a little device that will let you know a lot of things about your electrical system when it's working, okay? This is very cheap and this is so important, okay, to have a new scooter. So you can overview how much voltage your scooter is producing, okay? If you know that, you can analyze things, okay? Because sometimes you think that your battery is bad, so you throw away a battery. But at the same time, you don't know how much voltage is your scooter producing. Because if your battery you think is bad and you throw it in the garbage, and you don't know how much voltage you have, the battery that you throw away could be good, so you're wasting money, okay? So this little toy can save you a lot of money, okay? So if your electrical system is not charging your battery enough, this will tell you. Okay, we're going to install this little voltmeter right here, okay? Right on the left side of your scooter, where is the little plastic right here that you have a little space? in this location right here what you're going to need is a drill bit that is one inch wide okay a drill bit that is one inch wide this one is slightly more bigger than a one inch is like inch and a quarter but i like to have this one slightly tighter okay i don't want this one to wobble or lose so i want the hole to be nice and tight okay so to make the hole right here you have a little frame with the voltmeter okay so i want you to place the frame in the place where you want to have the voltmeter okay and then you make a little mark in the center so you're going to find the center of the hole for the voltmeter okay for this job you're going to need a driller and you're going to need a drill bit right here okay so the location is right here place the frame right here in the <clears throat> and then you mark the center okay After you mark the center, you remove the little frame and you keep making the hole. Just just take like a second to make the hole. This is a lot of plastic right here. Now, you want to make sure that the hole is big enough. I need a little bit of more space. Beautiful, that's the right size right here. So, with the one inch drill bit, uh, you can do a pretty good job with this one, okay? So you can place it right here. Now, I wanna put the little frame uh, right here. So it's gonna look nice and neat and beautiful. Look at that. Now. Right here, I have two screws that I can place, that they can come with, they come with the package of the voltage meter, okay? Right here. looks pretty good now what we have to do we have to open up the front part of your scooter so we can work with the wiring now the first step is done right here we put the little voltage meter
at this point we need to remove the nose of your scooter so we can work with the electrical part to remove the front part of your scooter there is two screw right here and two screw underneath the nose of your scooter those are Phillips screws okay so you can either driller or you can remove it with it's just a screwdriver Down here, there is two more screws. Turn your wheel to the right or the left so you can reach the screws. Yeah, down here. Remove the nose of your scooter and put it in a place where you're not going to step on it. Because it is, is a piece of plastic, and very thin plastic is not gonna last long if you step on it, okay? Now, after you open the front part of your scooter, you're going to see a lot of wiring, a lot of things slightly confusing, okay? What you need to find, you need to find the wire that comes for your injection key, you know, where you put the key for your scooter to turn around? That's the connection you need to find. And that's the one right here, but sometimes it can be behind your light, okay? If it's behind your light, you have to remove the light and try to find the connection, because sometimes it's hiding inside, okay? Now, down here, that's where you place, we place the voltmeter, okay? So, this voltmeter has a, a negative side and a positive side. Now you need to make two wires, one black one and one red one, right here. So you can attach it to your voltmeter, okay? With two connections right here. Those are the two connections. They comes in the box. When you order this voltmeter, it comes in the bag, the two connections. The only thing you have to put, you have to put the wire. They come with the box, and the only thing you need to do, you put the low wire, one red, one black one, to connect it to your uh, voltmeter. Now, with your finger, just pop this one out on the other side, okay? So now pass these two wire inside the little frame of the voltmeter, okay? And you want to attach the wires, the black one to the black minus right here they're kind of hard to put in but it's okay that's better and the red one on the plus side of the multimeter right here and the red one right here on the voltmeter you connect it see this is how you have to connect your voltmeter okay now right after you place the connection you can pull the wires and place the voltmeter right here okay now you have a little washer that comes with the voltmeter that you have to screw so that the voltmeter is not going to move left or right okay so what you're going to do, you're going to place this washer on the wire right here. And you're going to like let this washer slide until the end so you can screw this part on the multimeter. Nice a little tight over here. If you want to make some space, you can move the regulator. But, you know, take your time. You do, you're not in the rush, right, to do this job. So, you want to do things right, and at the right moment, uh, you can do it slowly, okay? Relax, take your time. Now, press the voltmeter inside, so the screw is going to go to the 
voltmeter and it's gonna turn okay okay right here you have the black cable and the red cable okay Now you want to pass this wire in a way they're not going to bother any other things, okay? So you can pass it right here the front. Make sure the wire are not going to touch your horn, because if they touch the horn, they don't let vibrate your horn and you're gonna have a problem. Now at this point we need to find some place where to get the electricity from, right? So for the black one, you can attach yourself right here. You need to find a ground place, okay? So I'm going to make a You need to unscrew this one, that is a 10 millimeter. And what you can do, you can make a little loop right here, okay? So this line is going to touch the ground of the scooter from the voltmeter, okay? Now make sure you're going to tie this pretty good, but not too tight because you're gonna break the plastic of the of the light, okay? So don't break, don't tie it too hard. It needs to make a nice contact with the ground right here. Now another place that you can place the ground you can get the ground from the horn right here where is the large screw or the corner you unscrew this screw right here the bolt you open up you put your wire there okay now we're going to find a place where to attach this one that will be the red cable okay okay right after you find the best place for your ground for the voltmeter you need to find where to place the positive side of your voltmeter, right? Now, you're going to see a lot of uh, wiring. It's very confusing. There's at least four or five connections right here. You need to find the connection that comes from the injection, okay? That's the one that you're going to need. There, you're going to have good I'm really lucky that it is up here for me but sometimes you find it behind the light or some behind there so you have to remove the old headlight to find this connection so it's kind of annoying sometimes okay it becomes a, a larger work okay you don't really want to do a large work if you don't have to but you know for this little gadget you really can do a large work too okay now right here in this connection you're going to have a brown cable, a red cable, a green cable, and a black cable, okay? A black line. This black line, that's the one you're going to need, it, okay? You're going to need this line to attach to your red cable right here. With a small plier, you need to remove the black cable from that connection. This is kind of like a small plier that you need, like a small one right here with a nose, or like a long nose plier. So you can remove the black cable right here. Now make sure you're kind of gentle, you know. You want to get the connection but you don't want to get the old wire out, okay? So, this is just perfect, like that. Kind of like this, 
I understand it's kind of broken a little bit, but it's okay. What you're gonna do, you're going to attach this one to that line. You're gonna attach this line, the gray line, to this line. This is a black wire, but it's not a negative, okay? This one comes out from the ignition, okay? So this part right here, when you turn the key, is going to give power to this line. Now you can make a fencing connection, get the new connection and everything, or you're just gonna touch it like that for now. You really, you can put some electrical tape, okay? Now, after, after you wanna connect this one, pretty good, okay? And you can put some black tape around, okay? So you have to find the, you have to find the perfect way to fit this wiring in there to make sure they're not going to touch anything else you're not going to touch the ground because if not your your wiring is going to burn okay so you need to find the way to put this one in and make sure it's going to touch the other side if this gonna connection is going to touch perfectly the other side of the connector okay so with a little patience, you can do it, okay? Okay, like that should be good, okay? You can place some electrical tape right here to make sure it's going to stay in the right position, okay? And it's not gonna wobble around. After you're done, Now you can make this connection really fancy or you can make this connection just uh, temporary, okay? You really want to see how this voltmeter is going to work for you. And then later you can do, take your time and make this connection the perfect connection, okay? Put some black electrical tape to make sure nothing is going to touch the ground, okay? Because if you're going to touch ground, you're going to have a problem, okay? Okay, so right after you place your voltmeter, you done all your wiring, you have to make sure before you close the front part of your scooter that your voltmeter is working. If you close the front part and everything, <laughs> the voltmeter is not working, you have to reopen everything. So I suggest you to test your voltmeter before you close everything. Now, if your scooter is off, your voltmeter should not work. Okay, if uh, you turn the key, your voltmeter is going to start. At this moment, my voltmeter is 12.2. If you turn your on your scooter, your voltmeter should go higher, okay, from there. At the maximum speed, the voltmeter should be up 13.5, around there. That's uh, how much your battery needs a little more power to recharge every time you go with your scooter. So you have to keep one eye on this voltmeter, not really all the time, but once in a while, you're not gonna drive and look at the voltmeter all the time like that. But once in a while, just keep an eye on this one. Because so this one will tell you if your charging system is charging your battery, okay? Well, this one will tell you if there is a problem in your electrical system. This one is a really little gadget that will save your life if this is your only transportation. So before your battery is going to be discharged, this one will tell you, okay? Let me show you how it looks like. Gonna move the little protection. At this moment, it's 12.4 at idle, okay? So, 12.4, 12.5. This is a really good thing to have, and it's a cheap thing to have, and it's this part right here will help you a lot with your scooter. And it's also really easy to install. Ah, 
after you test your voltmeter and you make sure it's working and your wire is good and make sure you tie it pretty good your voltmeter to make sure it doesn't wobble or vibrate at this point you could put back the front part of your scooter okay now be careful because these parts right here they're made of plastic and they can break so okay be gentle please You're going to have two screws on your driver's side. The Phillips screwdriver, right here. You have one screw on the left side of your driver's side of the scooter and one screw on the right side. You also have two screws down here at the nose. Make sure you turn your wheel left or right so you're gonna have a little more room. Okay everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, click like at any time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And thank you very much.